Hey. This game I got at Fred Meyer for $20 and it came with that god awful Big Mother Chuckers game. But it was a good deal because I've, I've only seen Nana's Trey. Well, I think I saw a long time ago at Target, like when the DS first came out. And then, you know, over time they just took off shelves because this came out in 05. And now it's 07. So, you know, over time games get took off shelves. Okay, on the bottom screen, this is what you got. You got your adventure mode, you got arcade mode, challenge mode, and multiplayer. I haven't tested out the multiplayer yet, but on the box, it says one and two single card download play. I hope that's true. Unlike uh, Goompay DS, which said that, but was a complete lie out there, but. Okay, let's try adventure first. I've already started a game. You got three games. Oh wait, or maybe four. It was four actually. I beat the level, but it was pretty hard. It took some practice. All right, on your bottom screen, you got a little radar thing. You got four different weapons: your life, uh, your ships, which is five ships, your energy, which is here, and then you got four guns or beams or whatever. L lightning or electric? Uh, I don't really know what that's called. It's more like I'll just show you. This is the top beam. I'm holding on A. Shouldn't think it's on screen. Dang it. Ours is sucking coins. Dang it. It's so easy to get killed in this game. So you have to be paying close attention, or not, which I'm not. When you press Y, dang it. When you press Y, I mean, X, you kill everything on screen. It's, like, it's called a smart bomb. And you'll, you can get like four of those in each life. And then when you hit the Y button, no Y button doesn't do anything. B button, you can pull out your special weapon of that beam. And that drains down that bar right there. Uh, change your beam you have to go drag your thumb and go all the way and poke the beam on here dang it and the electric sometimes locks on and takes up more things on the screen hit the A button and it'll go around you this one shoots uh, sideways hit this and it'll go way faster Game over, which is no big surprise. This game's hard. And there's three levels, so there's two, and I beat one, there's just two left. I hope it's more than I have to beat those two. Otherwise, this would be a really short game. Okay, there's adventure mode. Let's try arcade. Okay, let's try challenge. There's two challenges. Let's just try the first one. Objective. Get a score of 3,500. Thousand. Okay, I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna be able to beat it. But all right. Okay. And the beam you didn't get to see was this beam, which is kind of weird because it goes like. A, Goes left and right, left and right, and kind of goes around. Then you hit the A button. It does that? There's a sweeping beam that goes around. Now, if you liked Aero Fighters, this will be the game for you. And yeah, L is also a, a primary shoot button, so you don't have to hold on A. You can just hold on L. So you, can, you could just do it with one hand if you wanted to, but that'd be even harder. In which this game is not easy. And 
Yeah, so this is a pretty good game. I'm pretty glad I bought it. The only complaint I have with this game is, well, that it's so hard. And you'll have to be playing it over and over again in order to beat it. But it's to ex be expected on a hard game. Dang it. Okay, there's a challenge. And... Arcade. I guess in arcade you can pick any level you've beaten. And if you can't, if the screen's kind of glossy or something, there's a glare. I apologize. I wish there's something I could do. And, and I was saying that the only problem with that this game, of course, is the hardness. And part of the hardness is that sometimes the screens, the, 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 the enemies, take up the whole screen. And so you have to squeeze right by them, just like that. And if you don't let them by or, um, you just keep on shooting them, they'll kill you. Or if you're like on a boss and it spins around the whole screen, you have to go in the exact right spot, otherwise they'll smash you and you'll die. Well that's not too bad, I mean at least the detection's alright. You got nice 3D graphics. So you gotta let that guy by, otherwise he would have killed me. Dang it, I just ran into that wall. And right there, you got your score and then best score, and that's a radar, which doesn't work too well. I mean, it shows things on screen, but it should have made it more detailed. So, okay, in the end, I'd give it, I'd give it a uh, seven point three because it's pretty fun, but it's really hard, and from the looks of it, it looks kind of short. However, you got wireless um, game share multiplayer, download play, so that could really lengthen the game. Um, on GameSpy, they gave it a two and a half out of five, and IGN, if I remember correctly, let's see. I think you should buy it for two reasons. One, it's hard to find, and games that are hard to find will be worth more later. And secondly, it's a pretty fun game, and it's a, a shooter, a space shooter, or starship shooter, whatever you want to call it, and there isn't that many games on a DS at all. I mean, I can't think of one off the top of my head that's like that. Alright, on um, according to IGN, Nanostray got an 8, which is a pretty good score. I'd say it's a little, that's a good score for it because it's not bad, like um, how IGN says 2.5, because that's like for, that'd be like if it was too hard or if the graphics were bad or something like that. And uh, Nanostray, or on IGN, they gave it an 8. And that's, that's an alright score, but it seems a little high. And then on... Alright. On uh, IG, or GameSpot, they gave it a 6.5. Which is kind of low. Fine. but is not too bad of a score. So in conclusion, if you see this game, buy it. Because you probably not be able to find it again unless you buy it online. But in a way, it's kind of cheating. You want to, not really cheating, but if you see a game, it's just way more fun to buy it in the store. Because you, you, you know, you play it on the way out and on the way home. And that was my review. Stay tuned for more.